my friends and welcome back to another crochet stitch tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make this really pretty almond ridge stitch. I recently made this pillow cover using this stitch and I'm absolutely in love with how it came out. So I want to show you how you can do it too. So the first thing you should know about the almond ridge stitch is that it is more of a sequence than an actual stitch. And I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to do the sequence and then we'll get into the step-by-step -step process on how to actually make it stitch by stitch. So in a nutshell, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be alternating four half double crochets, four slip stitches, four half double crochets, four slip stitches, all the way across. In addition to alternating, you're also going to re be repeating the row, the same row twice. So I made half double crochets in this row. In this row, I'm also going to make half double crochets on top of half double crochets, slip stitches on top of slip, slip stitches. Now in the next row, I'm going to switch and I'm gonna be putting slip stitches on top of the half double crochets. And I'm also gonna repeat that row twice. So I'm repeating each row twice and that's what kind of staggers these um, these almond shapes here and it gives it this whole like like a wave pattern all right so if you haven't already go ahead and get your yarn and your hooks and meet me back here and I'll show you step by step how you can do this okay so to get started you can really use any weight yarn to do this but I've just chosen a basic worsted weight yarn I'm using this Heartland by Lion Brand and then I am using a five millimeter crochet hook now I do want to point out that since we are using slip stitches in this sequence that if you tend to have very tight tension you may very well want to go up a hook size or even two hook sizes um, because working into slip stitches can become quite frustrating very quickly if you have tight tension so okay so first you're going to start with a chain of any multiple of eight plus five for demonstration purposes i'm just going to be making a small square so my chain is going to be 29 chains since 24 is a multiple of eight plus five more makes it 29 so i'm going to chain 29. okay so once you have your desired number of starting chains we're going to begin our first row of the almond ridge stitch all right so i'm going to begin this row with slip stitches so i'm going to work into the second chain from my hook so working one slip stitch into the second chain from my hook and i'm going to work one slip stitch in each of the next three stitches so it's going to be a total of four slip stitches All right, and now I'm going to work four half double crochets, or I should say I'm going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four chains. All right, now I'm going to continue alternating four slip stitches, four half double crochets, all the way into the end of the row. And then I'll meet you back here for row two. Okay, so now I've got my first row and you can already see a slight wave pattern here where I've got my half double crochets and then it dips down where I made my slip stitches. Now, since we are repeating each row twice, I am going to make slip stitches on top of slip stitches and half double crochets on top of half double crochets. So in order to start row two, you are going to chain one, turn your work, and now we're gonna be working from here on out, we're gonna be working in the back loops only. So in case if you're not familiar with that, I'm just gonna show you really quick. So normally we work under both loops here, like you see here, we're gonna skip over this first one and only work into this back loop here all the way across. And this is what it looks like on top of your half double crochets, okay? Normally we insert our hook under both loops, but we are going to skip over this loop here and only work in the back loops, okay? So now, since we've got four half double crochets, we ended, or I'm sorry, we ended with four slip stitches. We're gonna start with four slip stitches 
We're repeating each row twice, just remember that. And once you've made your four slip stitches, you're going to make four half double crochets. Again, we're only working in the back loop only. That's what creates the ridges that you see that outline the almond shape is by working in the back loop only. All right, so you're gonna continue this next row um, alternating between four slip stitches, four half double crochets, all the way across until you get to the end, and I will see you at the end of this row. All right, so I am making my last stitch here of row two. I'm gonna turn this over so you can see. You can really see that almond shape coming out now. That comes from stacking, like I was talking about, stacking stitches on top of each other. Now, since we repeated this first row twice, we're going to do the opposite now. So instead of making half double crochets on top of half double crochets, we're gonna be making half double crochets on top of slip stitches. Um, so I'm just gonna chain one in turn. Now you see at the end here, we ended with slip stitches. So now I'm going to start with four half double crochets. Again, we're only working in the back loops. We are not working under both loops. So four half double crochets, or I should say one half double crochet in each of the first four stitches. Okay, so I've done four half double crochets. Now I'm going to do four slip stitches. All right, now you're gonna continue alternating just like we have in the previous two rows. Continue alternating four half double crochets, four slip, st slip stitches, four half double crochets, all the way across, and then I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. All right, so I'm now making my last stitch of row three. I'm gonna chain one and turn. Now remember, we're repeating each row twice. So we just did um, one of that row. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat it. So we ended with four half double crochets. We're gonna start with four half double crochets and stack a set. Uh, we're gonna stack stitches for this row. So I'm making four half double crochets. And now for the next four stitches, I'm going to make four slip stitches. Okay, so you're just gonna continue um, repeating this row, repeating four half double crochets, four slip stitches, four half double crochets all the way across and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so I'm making my last stitch of row four now and I'm gonna turn this over so we can see the right side and you can really see the almond shape popping out with the ridges outlining it now. And this is exactly what you're gonna do to continue. You're gonna do exactly what we've just done. So you're gonna repeat a row twice and then you're gonna do the opposite of that row two times. So if you remember, we started here with four slip stitches and then I went into four half double crochets. I repeated that row twice and you can see where I've got half double crochets stacked on top of half double crochets and then the slip stitches slapped on uh, stacked on top of slip stitches. And then for the next two rows, I did the opposite. I started with half double crochets and went into slip stitches. So you're just gonna continue to work in this four row sequence over and over and over again until your project is done. This is a great stitch for blankets, for pillows. You can even do like scarves or cowls. Honestly, the possibilities are endless with this stitch. It's just, it works so well for so many things. And you can use, you know, pretty much any weight yarn with this. So 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to tap that little bell so you never miss a tutorial from me in the future. Have a good day.